welcome to Media Men Online. I am Dan. This is Isaiah. Hey, hey. And this is the weekend domestic box office for January 27th, 2023 to January 29th, 2023. Number six, we have Missing, previous rank of four. This is its second week out. Kind of a bit of a st- steep drop after its first week. The previous weekend was $9,154,000 with a current box office earnings of Five million six hundred seventy-three thousand. Now, this movie Isaiah is a lot warmer on it than I am, but it's. I think if you're if you like these kinds of movies where they're all on screen, you should at least give it a shot. I'm I'm expecting it to drop off quite a bit, but I mean, with such a low budget, it's it's done well enough where it's successful now. With a seven million dollar budget, it's made seventeen million. So a few more weeks at the box office doing pretty well, and it it'll you know be well worth the. The investment so up next we have for number five megan its previous ranking was three so drop down two spots here it's been out for four weeks previous week's earnings for it were 9.7 million dollars and the current box office earnings are 6.3 million dollars so another expected drop off uh january is always really bad for movies in general that's why typically they dump all the bad movies in January, where January kind of gets its bad reputation. It's kind of weird that we have actually like decent, good movies out this year, and a little sad to see them not doing as well as they could be. Maybe they're trying to break the January stigma, because these have been pretty decent. So the other one, um, honorable mention to Infinity Pool, which I saw the other day. It was a very, very strange movie, definitely rated R, but... It did not do well at all. I think no. it's number 10. Yeah, just uh, two and a half million dollars. But go I'm see it. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, if you're in for something weird, go see that one. Alexander Skarsgård's great. Yeah. Also, I noticed for that, for Infinity Pool, it's only it's in under 2,000 theaters. And a lot uh, of the other like bigger movies are in at least 3,000. So maybe next week it'll get a bump up in how many theaters it's in. Speaking of not premiering in a lot of theaters, A Man Called Otto. Previous okay. ranking of five. This is its fifth week out with a previous week of eight point eight million dollars. This this movie is doing a lot better than I thought it would. Is it the Tom Hanks factor? Maybe or maybe it's just a good movie. The fact that it's consistently making money, it kind of reminds me of that George Clooney movie from what was it like November? The one with Julia oh, Roberts. Oh, yeah, that uh, that rom-com. Yeah, like, where it was Paradise. just Paradise. In the top five every week, we're like, uh, what the yeah. hell's going on? But it was uh, like number two for like <laughs> yeah. five weeks somehow. <laughs> yep. uh, current box office earnings of six point six five million. So it's still doing pretty well. Number three, we have Pathan. Now, this is a new Bollywood movie that came out this week. So its box office earnings were six point nine million dollars. I compared it to like the big Bollywood movie of last year. RRR, which opened at nine and a half million dollars. RRR kind of took off from there, so we'll see what happens with this one. Uh, but I, I've I've never heard of it. Maybe it's something I'll hear of some time from now. You know, I, I don't really have anything to say. And at number two is Puss in Boots: The Last Wish, a previous ranking of two, and it's been dominating for a month and a half, literally six weeks out. A previous weekend earnings of $11.8 million, down ever so slightly to 10.5. So go see this movie. There's got to be a reason it has such staying power. It, it's not just been in theaters for six weeks. It's been in the top five, you know, near if if Avatar wasn't out right now, it would be the number one movie for most of these weeks. Yeah. All right, and let's move on. We're going to talk about the upcoming movies for February 3rd, 2023. First, we have 80 for Brady. Notable cast. I find it funny how you just put Tom Brady, even though in the trailer, every single, like, I think, what, three of the four not-so-golden girls that were, like, Academy Award winners? Yeah, the one one was the mother in, uh, what's the Robin Williams, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah, they had like Jane Fonda and um, Sally Fields. Sally Fields was in. I like Sally Fields a lot. Yeah. It's uh, based off a true story, I'm sure, very loosely. 
Movie Insider had it as the genre is true story. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> there is no genre. It's just a movie. From Paramount Pictures, the same studio that brought you Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> a group of friends made it their lifelong mission to go to the Super Bowl and meet NFL superstar Tom Brady. So this yeah. movie is based on uh, Super Bowl 51, where they made the comeback against the Falcons. Why didn't they do it uh, in Super Bowl 52, I wonder? Go Birds. But uh, yeah, can you guys make a movie about Super Bowl 52? I'd really like that one. Instead of 80 for Brady, they can call it Ho- Hose for Foles. <laughs> Anyways, all right, Knock at the Cabin, notable cast, Dave Batista. This is a M. Night Shyamalan film. This is a thriller, the second trailer. They played during the freaking playoffs when I was watching it, so I did oh. see the second trailer. This is oh. a Universal Pictures production. While vacationing, a girl and her parents are taken hostage by armed strangers who demand that the family make a choice to avert the apocalypse. All righty, up next we have the quote-unquote amazing end quote Maurice uh, notable cast is Hugh Laurie who I love House is still one of my favorite TV shows this genre is family from Viva Kids the synopsis being the story follows Maurice a goofy streetwise cat who has the perfect money-making scam he finds a dumb-looking kid who plays a pipe and has his very own horde of rats who are strangely literate that wasn't a synopsis. I That didn't tell me anything about the movie. I mean, this is not for me at all. It's anyway. Hugh Laurie is the cat, if that helps people out there to go and see yeah. it. Because, I mean, he's not just like a dry uh, ma- like human character. So, all right. Next up, The Locksmith, featuring Ryan Phillippe, who is uh, one of the characters from I Know What You Did Last Summer. So, if that That's helps. That's what he was the, from. The football okay. star guy. This is a thriller from Screen Media Films. A thief, fresh out of prison, tries to work his way back into the life of his daughter and ex-fiance. Determined, he is forced to use the skills he has as a gifted locksmith. Things take a tumultuous turn after an unexpected disappearance. Now, this reminds me of Plane, because this movie is basic, straightforward, guy out of jail, get sucked back into the life movie. Which, if you're in for that, this is pretty. This is what you're gonna get. If I'm in the mood for that when when it comes out this week, I'm today. probably gonna see it. Yeah, it comes out today. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, this movie basically looked like Ant Man, but with no Marvel in it. <laughs> so Ooh. you know, maybe that's a plus for you. Dan. It's a plus for everyone. Yeah. Last up, we have here. Get ready for this title, ladies and gentlemen. Sword Art Online, the movie, progressive. Shurzo of Deep Night. That's the full title there. Like, here's the series, a movie of it, the title of the movie, and then the name of the second in, of this titled movie in the f- series they're doing. Notable cast is Bryce Pappenbrook, who's, like, in everything, and uh, Sharmi Lay, who's in everything. Uh, wonderful people. This is an animated film from A1 Pictures. Two months have passed since the deadly game began. Kirito and Asuna continue to make progress. They stop for treasure, but then they must face Asuna's least favorite monster. Yeah, check check out some movies. Let us know if there's any movies you're looking forward to come out uh, today or even next weekend. I mean, you know, whatever Brady. you're looking forward to. So I love Tom Brady. I would rather see 80 for Brady than Ant-Man 3, so I'm, <laughs> I'm there. So that'll do it for us. Let us know what you think in the comments. All that good stuff. Like, share with a friend. Go check out our other reviews. Check out our Pokemon review. Yes, uh, we just had Megan go up. We had Plane come up. And all right, on that note, we will catch you guys later. See ya.